Hey, hello, Miguel here, and welcome back to my channel where I talk about opinions, summaries, and recommendations of books that I have read and that I would like you to read as well. Today, I will be talking about, about this very non well known author called. Oh, well, Miguel Castillo. That's me, of course, that's me. I'll be talking about this uh, book that I just published on Amazon uh, KDP, The Wisdom of the Moon. So, let's get started. Okay, so what is all about this the Wisdom of the Moon? Um, actually, this is a book of short tales, so it's not a novel, they're just short stories that I wrote between 2015 and 2016. Uh, in that time frame, I was living in Latvia for six months, so of course there are little references there, like the uh, Delgava River, uh, Sigulda, uh, maybe about Yermala. Yes, that's all that's stuff about. That's um, so yes, it has a little bit of Latvia in there, it has a little bit of Russia in there, and of course it has a little bit of Kazakhstan as well, because of course um, I make friends from Kazakhstan. They're the most incredible friends that I uh, ever met there. Uh, well I was outside of my home Mexico country, so yeah. It has a little, a little bit of Kazakhstan as well, a little bit of Pavlodar, a little bit of Almaty. So, yeah, that's what you can find inside this book. But what uh, inspires, inspired me to write this book? Well, and I was just actually living some hard times there um, in that time. Um, but I won't talk about them because, well, yeah, it's not necessary to talk about them. Because actually those dark stuff that was happening in my mind were actually pretty good, so I can wrote this book. So yeah, of course you will find some very depressive uh, stories in this book, but they're kind of interesting. If you ask me, of course, of course I wrote this book, so of course I would say they're pretty interesting stories, and I really enjoy writing this book. Um, so yeah, that's part of the inspiration. So why the wisdom and why the moon? Yeah, we know, the moon is everywhere, actually. The moon is in the songs, the moon is in the books, the moon is in the mythology, is in the poems, um, it's also, well, everywhere. You, It's, yeah, it's this uh, entity that lives outside in the space that it's not actually everywhere. I mean, everyone can see it from everywhere. And it has this mysticism, this magical brightness and white silver light that I guess ha has inspired cultures along the whole human history and of course have inspired many people for writing and doing whatever. So the moon has this magical thing uh, that also has inspired me on my darkest times, let's say, so it has enlightened me during my dark time. So that's why it's called the moon, why the wisdom? Yeah, that's a very important uh, thing of the book. I really want to thank you all my friends that supported me while I was in dark times. So that's why they were like my light in, the, in this dark and they always provided me with very kind and wisdom um, advices so I can just go out this uh, situation that I was living. So that's why the Wisdom of the Moon, and you will find the moon uh, and several stories here, and that's what you will be finding in this book. So it's, uh, the topics are of course some kind of magical, mythological, fantasy, fairy tale stories. It's not like science fiction or something like that, it's more about that. And yes, I know if you have seen my previous video where I talk about my very first book that I published, the, well, it's called Astros in Movimiento in Spanish, which means like stars in movement, of movement of stars. Um, of course, this is another book where I talk about, um, these are also short stories and their topics are also like fairy tales and magical and mythological. So yeah, that's how I like to write, so that's what you might be finding on this book. And you can find it on Amazon, it was of course uh, independently published, so I edited it, and of course forgive me if there are any mistakes, like grammatical or spelling mistakes. I know that English is not my, of course, my first tongue, my mother tongue is Spanish, 
But yeah, I, uh, I did my best reviewing this book several times until I decided to, um, to just publish it um, a couple of years ago. Um, so yeah, that's the book I wanted to talk to you about. If you want to read something different, something unexpected, um, something about an author that is not well known yet, and hopefully I will be someday, not sure, but yeah, if you want to read it, yeah, it's on Amazon, you can find it on Kindle version, of course, and you can have it in paperback, of course, yeah, just as a matter of fact, uh, just this is a curious thing, yeah, this is the Tower of Enzikulda, you can see the, maybe the Latvian flag somewhere in there, yeah, but that's, yeah, I mean, there are many things that I love Latvia, of course, I was living there for only six months, but I really enjoy living there, there are fantastic people there, so if you have an opportunity to visit there, just go for it! And that was my recommendation, feel free to comment about this book, comment about my videos, comment about everything, and I will be happy to reply to you. So, thank you for listening to me, and I'll see you on my next recommendation, and have a nice day, take care, and be well. Bye-bye!